Are you on the verge of packing your bags for Greensburg, North Carolina, but can't decide if it's the perfect match for you? Well, hold on to your seats because we're about to go over the fantastic pros and the unexpected cons of this vibrant city. Stick around to find out if Greensboro is your dream destination. Hey there, I'm Nicholas Newcomer, your friendly neighborhood real estate broker with EXP Realty in North Carolina. Are you itching for a change of scenery and considering Greensboro, North Carolina as your new stomping grounds? Well, today is your lucky day. We're diving deep into the pros and cons of Greensboro, North Carolina to help you make an informed decision about your big move. Greensboro is a vibrant city nestled in the heart of North Carolina. It's home to a thriving community of approximately 295,483 residents. But there's more to this city than just numbers. Greensboro is often dubbed as the gate city. It boasts a rich history and has a wonderful location that makes it a unique gem to the Tar Hill State. In fact, the nickname The Gate City traces its roots back to 1890 when a local newspaper recognized Greensboro's pivotal role as the transportation hub, serving as the gateway to the west and the south. With its excellent access to major interstates, including the iconic I-40, which spans the entire nation from the east coast to the west coast, Greensboro's charm and significance stretch beyond its population. Now let's get started going over some of the pros and cons in Greensboro, North Carolina. All right, let's dive into the first big advantage of living in Greensboro, the incredible affordable cost of living. Brace yourself because this is where Greensboro really shines. First off, the cost of living in Greensboro is a jaw-dropping 5.2% lower than the national average. But wait, it gets even better when we talk about housing. When we compare housing costs to the national average, Greensboro comes in at a whopping 39.6% lower. Yes, you heard that right. If you're in the market for a single family home, you're in luck. The median sales price for a single family home in Greensboro is currently a very reasonable $309,900 and these prices have been holding steady in recent months. But maybe you're more into townhouses which have seen a slight dip after going up over the past few months. The median sales price for a townhouse is $252,000. Now for the budget conscious folks, here's a real gem. Condos. The median sales price for a condo in Greensboro is just $171,500. And guess what? It made a sudden $20,000 increase over the last month. Renters, don't worry. Greensboro has something for you too. Renting in Greensboro averages around $1,257 per month, making it quite affordable when compared to many other cities. But that's not all. When we look at other categories of the cost of living in Greensboro, it is still astonishingly affordable compared to the national average. Your electric bill, for instance, is on average 2.2% cheaper here in Greensboro. Healthcare costs, yep, they're 5.7% lower than the national average. And for those who rely on gas and transportation, like everybody, you'll be pleased to know that it is a whopping 23.1% lower than the national average. Now, I have to be honest, there's one one area where Greensboro is a tad pricier and that is food and groceries coming in at 4.4% higher than the national average. But when you tally it all up, Greensboro offers an overall lower cost of living and the real star of the show here is the jaw dropping affordability of housing. What do you think of these cost of living numbers and the fantastic affordability of housing in Greensboro? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Now it's time to uncover the second fantastic advantage of living in Greensboro, the robust job market that this city has to offer. Get ready to be impressed because Greensboro is truly a powerhouse when it comes to employment opportunities. Greensboro boasts an impressive, diverse economic foundation with key sectors that include education, healthcare, logistics, manufacturing, and an emerging tech scene. This diversification isn't just a feather in the city's cap, it is a lifeline. It means that Greensboro can weather economic downturns better Better than most places. When we talk about major employers in the area, we're talking about heavy hitters like Cone Health, Guilford County Schools, the City of Greensboro, and High Point University. But it doesn't stop there. Greensboro jobs landscape is prepared with giants. Take, for example, the presence of major companies like the Honda Aircraft Company. It is a clear indicator of a robust industrial and technological environment right here in Greensboro. Now, here's an excellent news Greensboro unemployment.
unemployment rate is on a steady decline, currently resting at an impressive 3.7%. But that's not the only reason why the job market here is booming. The tech sector is on the rise with a strong focus on research and development, especially in areas tied to the aerospace industry, information, technology, and biotechnology. Now you might be thinking, but what about wages? Well, here's the scoop. While wages in Greensboro may appear slightly lower than the national average at first glance, when you factor in the lower cost of living, they become highly competitive. This balance means you can enjoy a high quality of life without breaking the bank. And here's the real kicker. Greensboro job market has a remarkable track record of bouncing back from economic challenges. It is a testament to the resilience and flexibility of this city's employment landscape with consistently low unemployment and a rock solid economic foundation. Greensboro is poised for greatness in the years to come. So tell me what your thoughts are on the Greensboro job market. Share your opinions and experiences in the comments below. I love to hear your perspective. All right, let's wrap up our journey through Greensboro pros with something truly special, the city's enchanting parks and greenways. Greensboro isn't just a city, it's a playground for outdoor enthusiasts, boasting an extensive network that includes over 90 miles of trails and an astonishing 170 parks and gardens. That's right, it's an adventure's dream come true. Offering a diverse range of outdoor activities from leisurely strolls to the invigorating bike rides and challenging hikes. One standout among this green oasis is the iconic county park, a cherished gem in Greensboro's crown. Stampede in history dating back to the 1930s is involved into a central hub for both recreational and relaxation. County Park offers a web of trails that wind through its serene landscape providing an idyllic escape from the hustle and bustle of urban life but wait there's more two serene fishing lakes add to the park's tranquility offering fishing enthusiasts a slice of paradise these lakes are regularly stocked and they even feature accessible fishing piers for everyone to enjoy families adore county park for its well-equipped playgrounds ensuring a safe enjoyable environment for children to let loose and when the sun shines bright you can rent pedal boats to explore the lakes adding another layer of fun to your visit now let's set our sights on a few more of greensboro remarkable parks and greenways the downtown greenway picture this a planned four mile walking and biking trail that embraces downtown greensboro it's not just a trail it's a cornerstone for urban green space seamlessly connecting neighborhoods businesses and attractions gateway garden is an 11 acre garden a captivating gateway to the city with its thematic gardens striking public art and unique structures it's a visual feast for all who visit and let's not forget about burn mill park this park is a multi-faceted wonderland featuring a wildlife education center an aquatic center a clubhouse a golf course and tennis courts it's also your gateway to the extensive greenway watershed trail system a must explore for nature enthusiasts remember these are just a glimpse of the many parks and greenways the green Greensboro proudly offers the city's commitment to providing outdoor space for families and individuals to savor the fresh air and natural beauty is truly commendable. So whether you're seeking scenic adventures, thrilling bike rides, or a tranquil escape into nature, Greensboro Parks and Greenways beckon you to explore and enjoy. Now let's take a closer look at some of the drawbacks in Greensboro, starting with the unavoidable topic of traffic. Like many bustling cities, Greensboro, North Carolina, Apples with its fair share of challenges tied to traffic congestion and transportation infrastructure. While Greensboro might not quite reach the gridlock levels of a larger metropolitan area, it does contend with the traffic related issues that you can put a dent in your daily routine. Picture this, certain areas in Greensboro, especially around downtown, during those pesky peak hours and near major shopping centers during the holiday season or special events, can experience some significant gridlock. If you've ever been stuck in one of those snarls, you know just how frustrating it can be. Longer commutes and increased stress become part of the daily grind for many drivers. Now as Greensboro population continues to swell, it's putting a strain on the existing infrastructure. Roads and highways that used to be just fine are now bursting at the seams, leading to more frequent traffic snarls and a pressing need for updates and expansions to our transportation system. And here's the kicker, with increased traffic, 
congestion comes a higher risk of accidents. Traffic can create unsafe driving conditions, especially when drivers are feeling frustrated or in a hurry. Safety is a top concern when it comes to navigating Greensboro roadways. While Greensboro is making strides to improve biking lanes and greenways, alternative transportation options like biking and walking haven't quite reached every corner of the city yet. So while they hold promise for the future, they may not be widespread enough to pro provide significant relief from traffic congestion at this time. But enough from me. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on the traffic situation in Greensboro. Have you encountered any of these challenges? Share your experiences and insights in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation rolling with con number two, the weather in Greensboro, North Carolina. Now while we do get to experience all four glorious seasons, there are a few quirks worth mentioning. You see sometimes it feels like we skip right over fall and plunge head first into winter. On the flip side there are moments when spring appears to be on vacation and we jump straight into summer. Summers in Greensboro can turn up to heat. Literally, we're talking hot and humid with the temperatures occasionally soaring into the upper 90s or even higher. That high humidity can make it feel like you're living inside of an oven. And trust me, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Now here's the sneeze worthy part. Spring in Greensboro, unleashes a pollen explosion, especially from those pine trees. It's like mother nature decided to paint everything yellow, but for folks with allergies, this season can be a real challenge causing symptoms like sneezing fists, itchy watery eyes, and non-stop congestion. Luckily, over-the-counter allergy medicine like Zyrtec or Allegra often come to the rescue. While severe winter storms are a rare sight in Greensboro, can surprise us with an occasional ice storm or a dusting of snow. When that happens, it can throw transportation into a loop because let's face it, we're not exactly geared up for heavy snowfall. If we do get a big snow, it will shut everything down. Now here's a heads up, Greensboro has a moderate risk of tornadoes, especially during those severe weather storms in spring and summer. It's not something we encounter daily, but it's worth knowing about. And speaking of summer, the hot and humid weather means we crank up the air conditioning. That's fantastic for staying cool cool but not so great for your electricity bill. Overall Greensboro weather is quite pleasant but during those scorching summers or the pollen it can be a bit of a challenge especially for those with asthma or respiratory issues. What's your take on Greensboro's weather? Now let's address a crucial topic that concerns us all cramming Greensboro North Carolina. Before we dive into the details I want to emphasize that my role here is to provide you with factual information while also adhering to the real estate regulations that prevent me from steering you in any certain direction. With that in mind, let's dive into the numbers and stats. In Greensboro, there were a total of 13,379 reported crimes resulting in a crime rate of 44.86. Among these incidents, 2,642 were classified as violent crimes, translating to a rate of 8.86 violent crimes per 1,000 residents. It's worth noting that the majority of reported crimes in Greensboro fall under the category of property crimes with 10,737 cases recorded and a property crime rate of 36.00. To help you visualize the safety landscape, I have included a map that highlights the safest areas in Greensboro in a light blue shade in the areas with a higher crime rate in a darker blue. I gathered this data from NeighborhoodScout.com. However, I strongly recommend that you conduct your own due diligence when considering a move or purchasing a property. Safety is a deeply personal matter and is essential to gather as much information as possible to make an informed decision. Now speaking from a personal perspective, I've always felt safe when visiting downtown Greensboro, but I'm genuinely interested in hearing your thoughts and experiences regarding crime and safety in Greensboro. Please share your insights and perspectives in the comments below. And for those of you considering a move to Greensboro, I'll include some valuable resources in the description to aid your research. Before we wrap up, I want to hear your thoughts on Greensboro, North Carolina. What's your take on this city? Share your insights in the comments below. I'm eager to learn from your perspective. And if your 
you're eyeing another town and want me to create a video about it, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments. Your input helps me bring you the information you're seeking. If you found this video informative and enjoyable on our discussion about Greensboro, please do me a solid smash that like button and hit the subscribe to catch more videos like this one. I drop fresh content every Friday and I'd love to have you along for the journey. If you have any questions or if you're in the market to buy, sell, or invest in the Greensboro area, don't hesitate to reach out. You can call or text me at 336-266-8976 or drop me an email at nicholas.newcomer at exprealty.com. Your real estate needs are my priority and I'm here to assist your every step of the way. I genuinely hope you found value in this video and I can't wait to connect with you again in our next adventure. Until then, take care and stay tuned for more exciting content.